Understanding fracture of the collarbone also called as clavicle. The video is created by Dr. Abhinav Gupta and team. The clavicle, commonly known as the collarbone, is a long and slender bone that connects the shoulder blade, scapula, to the sternum, breastbone. It plays a crucial role in providing support and stability to the shoulder, facilitating arm movements. Clavicle fracture. Common mechanisms of injury include 1. Fall onto the shoulder. Often occurring during activities such as sports, cycling, or slipping can lead to a clavicle fracture. 2. Fall onto an outstretched arm. Falling onto an outstretched arm transmits force to the clavicle, especially if the impact is on the outer part of the shoulder. 3. Direct impact. Direct impact or a blow to the clavicle, such as during a collision or contact sports, can cause a fracture. 4. Motor vehicle accidents. Collisions or accidents involving motor vehicles can lead to clavicle fractures, particularly if the chest or shoulder area sustains an impact. 5. Sports injuries. Participation in sports, especially those involving physical contact or a risk of falls, increases the likelihood of clavicle fractures. 6. Birth trauma. In newborns, fracture can occur during the birthing process, especially during difficult deliveries. 7. Direct compression, such as being caught between objects or in machinery. Location. The clavicle is divided into three parts, medial, closest to the sternum, middle, and lateral, near the shoulder. Fractures can occur at any of these locations. Types of fractures. Mid-shaft fractures, most common type, typically resulting from a direct impact or fall onto the shoulder. Lateral fractures, occur near the shoulder joint and are often associated with dislocations or ligament injuries. Medial fractures, rare, happening close to the sternum. Clinical features, pain, swelling, and bruising over the clavicle. Limited shoulder movement and discomfort during arm elevation. Palpable deformity or a bump at the fracture site. Diagnosis. X-rays are commonly used to diagnose clavicle fractures, helping determine the location, type, and extent of the injury. Treatment. Non-surgical. Most clavicle fractures can heal with conservative measures like rest, arm support, and pain management. Surgical. Severe fractures, especially with significant displacement, may require surgical intervention, often involving fixation with plates, screws, or intramedullary devices. Physiotherapy assessment. Here are key components of such an assessment. 1. Pain assessment. Evaluate the level and nature of pain experienced by the patient. Determine any factors that worsen or alleviate pain. 2. Range of motion, roam. Assess active and passive range of motion in the shoulder and adjacent joints. Identify restrictions and any pain associated with specific movements. 3. Strength testing. Evaluate muscle strength, particularly in the muscles around the shoulder girdle. Identify weakness or muscle imbalances that may have developed due to the injury. 4. Joint stability. Assess shoulder joint stability and ligament integrity. Check for any signs of joint laxity or instability. 5. Neurological assessment. Evaluate sensory and motor function, especially if nerve involvement is suspected. Assess reflexes and nerve distribution in the affected area. 6. Posture assessment. Examine overall posture, focusing on the alignment of the shoulder and neck. Identify any compensatory changes in posture. 7. Functional assessment. Evaluate the impact of the clavicle fracture on daily activities and functional tasks. Identify any difficulties with activities of daily living, adults. 8. Palpation. Palpate the clavicle and surrounding structures for tenderness, swelling, or crepitus. Check for any abnormalities or deformities. 9. Imaging review. Review radiographic images to understand the fracture type, alignment, and healing progress. 10. Patient education. Discuss the nature of the clavicle fracture and expected recovery.
educate the patient on proper shoulder care, use of supports, and precautions to avoid further injury. 11. Development of Rehabilitation Goals Collaborate with the patient to establish short-term and long-term rehabilitation goals based on their needs and expectations. The comprehensive assessment helps in developing an individualized treatment plan, exercises, modalities, and interventions aimed at promoting healing, restoring function, and preventing complications. Physiotherapy management of a clavicle fracture is essential for optimal recovery and restoration of function. The approach may vary based on the type and severity of the fracture, but common components include 1. Immobilization and support. Initially, the affected arm may be supported using a sling to minimize movement and reduce pain. Gradual mobilization is introduced as tolerated, balancing the need for immobilization with the prevention of stiffness. 2. Pain management. Implement pain management strategies, such as ice therapy and appropriate medications, to control pain and inflammation. 3. Early range of motion exercises. Initiate gentle range of motion exercises for the shoulder and adjacent joints as pain allows. Focus on maintaining flexibility and preventing stiffness. 4. Strengthening exercises. Progressively introduce strengthening exercises for the muscles of the shoulder girdle. Emphasize exercises that promote stability and support for the injured clavicle. 5. Scapular mobility. Address scapular mobility to ensure proper movement coordination between the clavicle, scapula, and shoulder joint. 6. Posture correction. Work on correcting any postural changes that may have occurred due to the injury. Emphasize proper alignment to prevent complications and promote optimal healing. 7. Functional activities. Gradually incorporate functional activities and tasks of daily living into the rehabilitation program. Tailor exercises to match the patient's specific functional goals. 8. Progressive rehabilitation. Based on the healing process, gradually increasing the intensity and complexity of exercises. Consider individual variations and adjust the plan accordingly. 9. Patient education. Educate the patient on proper posture, body mechanics, and adherence to the rehabilitation program. Gradual return to activities and sports, emphasizing the need for caution. 10. Monitoring and adaptation. Regularly monitor the patient's progress. Consider imaging and clinical assessments to assess healing and guide the rehabilitation process. Physiotherapy plays a crucial role in promoting optimal recovery, reducing complications, and facilitating the return to normal activities after a clavicle fracture. It is important for patients to actively participate in their rehabilitation and communicate any concerns or changes in symptoms to their physiotherapist. Prognosis. Clavicle fractures generally have a good prognosis, with most individuals recovering fully with appropriate treatment and rehabilitation. It's important to seek medical attention for a suspected clavicle fracture to ensure proper diagnosis and treatment. The approach to management depends on detailed assessment. Vote of thanks. Thank you for watching our video. We hope this information has been valuable to you. If you have any further questions or concerns, please consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice. Stay healthy and take care.